exactly what you meant. That's the problem. Listen to someone other than yourself for once. Stand down, Tony. Not while I can still fix this. Stay. What do you say, boss? Is Rogers right? Should the star player get benched after one mistake? Or maybe you're smart and you know I can get us across the finish line. It is worth hearing Steve out. Yeah. This is not a school project. Teamwork doesn't make the dream work. But you're the boss, boss. You can all brainstorm to your heart's content. When you want an actual solution, you come and find me. rough on my allergies, sneezing my brains out after that mission. I like to come here, away from all the noise. It is heartwarming that I am not noise to you. Obviously, you're better than that. Maybe even, you know, my equal. Oh. What was that? <laughs> Don't make me say it again. My hearing is not as good as it used to be. Better be on the safe side and repeat it. <laughs> Your hearing is fine. Something with the air pressure. Strange is still looking into it. I said you're an equal, okay? Happy now? Yep. You're the first I've met that would probably impress even the likes of Mephisto. That does not sound appealing. Better to impress the Prince of Lies than to provoke his contempt. What he respects, he also fears. I will never apologize for being comfortable with my darkness, and neither should you. The darkness is ours to wield. It is our strength. There is no shame in owning up to what we are and what we can do. You are right, Hunter. More than right. I needed an ally and a friend like you for a long time. Someone that embraces their darkness and makes me feel comfortable with mine. I am honored. It was an unexpected gift. When this battle is over, you should come... Is that your plan? Maybe. Piotr... What about Nico, Robbie, and Blade? The Midnight Sun? Once you are a sun, you never really leave. In any case, I hope we can continue fighting side by side in the future. Okay. Ileana, you and the suns are the future. At least, you have given me hope. Uh, don't get too sentimental on me, Hunter. Isn't it literally called the prophecy of the- mm, Guess you overheard our conversation. Some of it. 
Let's face it, this doomsday scenario might be a little too on the gothy supernatural side for the Avengers. So, it's time for them to move over and let the kids take the reins. What does Peter say? With great power. And we are ready. So? You mean a plan to stop Cathan from serving us all up in his all-you-can-eat cosmic flesh buffet? We don't have all the deets nailed down as of yet, but we'll work it out. Till then, I don't want to freak out the Avengers any more than they are. We'll... Cool. Hey guys, I know you probably don't want to hear this, but we need... Hey, can I ask a favor? Always knew Blaze would bite at doing something reckless. You need to go easier on Sarah, kid. What brought that up? I've seen how you are together. You're always circling each other, waiting for the other one to pounce. I do not want to fight her, but she does not give me a choice in the matter. Yeah. Well, yeah. You ran into her the day after you died. For her, you were gone for centuries. I don't think you understand how much your death affected her, and neither of you get how much your resurrection brought it all back. When you run into someone you thought was gone for years, learning otherwise can produce some intense feelings. I understand. Thank you. You have shown me a better way to look at this. Don't flatter me, kid. I don't have secret knowledge. It's all instinct with me. They are good instincts. All right. I don't mind a little flattery. Just think about what I said. I've spent more time around Sarah than you. Trust me. She'll come around. Aww. You should. Spidey. Sarah never told me you were this fun. See you soon. Another uh, give me a sec. Okay. What's up? Sometimes, I even impress myself. I feel like I could automate this process and take myself out of the loop here. Where did you find this? This is some of my best work.
what happened to you? Limbo.
Don't child ability. <laughs>